Hi, I'm Chris Caruso. I'm the Managing Director at Robinhood, overseeing most of our investments in K-12 education. One of Robinhood's core beliefs is that every child deserves access to a high-quality education. And that is why Robinhood has partnered with the city, schools, and community organizations on programs that meet students where they are and focus on getting them what they need, like acceleration blocks, where kids get access to personalized and small group tutoring. I'd like to take you now to Coney Island Prep in Brooklyn to spend some time with a fourth grader named Malik and his teacher, Miss Courtney. As you'll see in the video, Robin Hood is thrilled to be giving some shine to schools and community organizations across the city to help get kids back on track. I didn't read that much. Like, I used to um, put myself down, say that I hate myself, I'm so dumb. Apple trees are different from forest trees. Forest trees are tall and they used to move schools because there was always like a problem with everywhere that I go. I have students such as Malik who came in reading on a first grade level. You could tell that he was craving structure and attention and support, all in positive ways. And so I got to know really quickly the ways that he protected himself, especially around reading. He would mouth things or he would mumble things or he would just act as if he knew the words. Ready? Malik, here we go. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Good, word three, what word? Without this time, Friends like Malik will just fall through the cracks and will just get pushed along when really, like now we have this really focused time to say like, we need to go back to phonics. We need to go back to the foundation. And I'm not able to build that relationship and that trust as authentically without that time. Beautiful. Malik has seen because of this acceleration block that he is capable of it. He is growing in this. He's more confident. Let me hang in, let me hang in, let me hang in. There's a smile as I love to say. Here we go, what's the first part? Miss Cannon is like a very kind person. She helps people when they need help. And I needed help. There were certain words that I didn't know how to read and she helped me sound it out. Um, because it will start growing again in those spring. She let me stop to think. And she said, if you keep going, you can get better in life. So I kept going and um, reading fluently as I was going. I'll never forget, we had whole group presentations and Malik went up there and with the help of his peers was like reading off the poster. And now he's raising his hand and saying like, hey, Miss Gannon, can I read off the board in front of 31 other students, even though I know I might not get every word correctly? I had my friends helping me read it. So that gave me confidence to raise my hand and read in front of the whole class. It feels really good. He is modeling vulnerability through learning at its finest. There is literally no greater feeling than to see Malik and other students just really blossom and be so confident because we have the time to do it that we otherwise wouldn't have. I feel really proud when I do different stuff that I never did before. And there's like stuff that most people can't do that I'm doing today. And I have more confidence because I know that people love me and my mom, my dad, and my teachers, they care for me about my learning. If every school could have the acceleration block, it would be transformative for kids. Students would be so confident and so invested in their learning in a way that can sometimes be lost when you feel like you don't matter and no one's seeing you for what you truly need. Uh, it would just be a, an exceptional world that we would live in.